Hey folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. I did a post earlier today about right-of-way trapping. It's caused some more controversy, whatever. I'm gonna do a video here. I'm gonna read you what the laws say, how they say it, everything else. I'm gonna tell you what I think. I do it. I trap the right-of-ways. I've never had a problem, no tickets issued. Um, one of the reasons is probably because I stand up and I make them do a decision. Here's the part that pisses me off about this law. Everybody wonders, is it legal? Isn't it legal? The DNR says this, the state says this, the DOT says this, the cops say this. Here you go, Wisconsin Trappers Association. People pay membership to have you represent them and define the laws. Go to Madison, make the state of Wisconsin, the Department of Transportation, the Department of Natural Resources, and the state and federal and county and whatever law enforcement, put it down on paper, cut and dried, no more gray area. There is the problem, the gray area. Now, according to the DNR, this is in the rule books, uh, right away trapping. Trapping along roadsides, permission to trap the road right of way can be a complex issue. It's not a complex issue. Either say we can do it or say we can't. You make it a complex issue because you want to run in the gray area and you don't want to take responsibility. So anyways, it's a complex issue. Highway right of ways establish provided areas for vehicle and sometimes pedestrian, pedestrian travel and not for the purpose of trapping. Correct. But it's also not a set aside for the purpose of fishing, which you're allowed to do. It's not set aside for the purpose of gathering berries and asparagus and everything else, which you are allowed to do. So let's get that straight. They like to run in the gray area. And I'm going to go on and tell you the laws or the way they word for all that other stuff that I just said. Most are owned by either the state or local unit of government. There they go, they admit, you know, state highways, federal highways, they're owned by the state, by the federal government. Uh, county roads are owned by the county. Where the area comes in is township roads. Just stay away from township roads. Or if you're on a township road, and how I tell, county roads are usually lettered, county A, county P, county G and H. State roads are numbered, Highway 22, State Road 22, State Road 21, State Road whatever. Uh, and federal loads, roads are uh, Federal Highway 39, uh, Highway Interstate 94, your interstate system. So that's how them are. So on with the thing here. Um, however, in some cases, adjoining landowners will ma maintain ownership under of the underlying land, which I just said. Trappers must have permission from the owner of the land underlying any public road, street, or highway right-of-way areas before trapping these locations. Correct. I just said that. If you're on a town road, get permission from the landowner. If you're on a state road, your trapping license gives you permission to trap on state-owned land, unless otherwise closed to trapping. There is state land that is closed to trapping, but the state highways are not one of them. The federal highways are not one of them. The DNR will never, ever come and issue you a ticket for trapping on a right-of-way because it's not illegal to trap a right-of-way according to Wisconsin Department of uh, Natural Resources law. Um, the Department of Transportation has a policy that trapping is not allowed on DOT-owned roads. Some DOT retention ponds may be open to trapping. Contact DOT for details. Okay, it's their policy. It's not their law. They figure if Mr. State Patrol pulls up behind you and says, what are you doing? Oh, I'm trapping. You can't do that here. Why not? The DOT said, and you're going to leave. Me, I would say, no, I'm sorry, officer. Show me the state statute that shows me that I'm breaking the law. Most of the state cops around here know me. The wardens know me. Everybody knows me. I don't have an issue. The only issue I ever had was they have a thing that says if you are uh, making it dangerous on the road for uh, for for travel and I had this happen on the interstate. Now I just pull way off. The cop is says, just pull way off. Make it make it un not danger. Dangerous. And and that was the only issue I had. So now we got all that bullshit. And then we'll go over here. Now let's go to the DOT. Cuz yes, I pulled that up too. Okay, Wisconsin Department 
of Transportation says, the following activities provide specific guidance for subjects identified. This chapter provides guidance on the public use of Wisconsin DOT right away for certain activities. Nothing herein is intended to supersede the rules and regulations of other state agencies. That means they're not laws. It's a guideline. So here you go. Harvesting of berries, seeds, nuts, and vegetables and fungi. Uh, pedestrians may are legally allowed on Wisconsin DOT right away that location excluding railroad tracks uh interstate freeways and some expressways the product are intended for personal use and not for sale the products will be used for used by a commercial the products will not be used by a commercial enterprise um it says you have to obtain a permit and then it says the activity does not interfere with the free flow of traffic uh, blah 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 but your trapping is your permit. Your license is your permit. So we're going to keep going. You can't dig and, and do all that to vegetation. Fishing. Pedestrians are allowed to be on USDOT right away at the location uh, as long as there's no, no fishing sign. Fish are caught and attended for personal use. Blah, blah, blah. So you can fish there. Now, trapping. Inv individuals may not trap on USDOT right away. There are two uh, exceptions to the general prohibition. For example, a beaver has built a dam within the right of way and the backwater is damaging and could damage a bridge, culvert, blah, blah, blah. We all know that. The site, if the site included in the list of locations where trapping and hunting is allowed, see part four, hunting and trapping location guidelines. So they have this list. The following are all the DNR regulations. Individuals following all DNR regulations may trap or hunt on the following wetland banks or sites. And they have this whole list. But here's the thing. Nowhere can they give you the state statute that says it's illegal for you to trap on the road. They give you a bunch of guidelines and then they do all that. But you are, if they issue a ticket, Take them, the, don't argue with them, let them write the ticket, thank you, have a nice day, let them take your trap, do whatever, and move on. If they arrest you and place you under arrest, then they, they'll never do that, because then legally you can have them for illegal arrest uh, and, and kidnapping and shit like that, so that'll never happen. But just tell them, write me a ticket, I'll get my shit, I'll move on, they may take your stuff, but when you get to court, just all you have to do is say, your honor, I would like to know the state statute that says I cannot do this. Bring the game warden, tell them to bring the game warden in, state police, everybody, nobody can do that. I've been down this road, I've never been issued a ticket, but I have had the game warden, the police officers, and everybody else check, and there is no law that says it is illegal to trap on the right-of-way in the state of Wisconsin, except for if you are on a township road and it is owned to the center of the road. Some counties, I believe, that are owned, the landowners own, the ones here where I trap, they are not, they're owned by the county. Uh, a good way to tell is you'll see a, a yellow post sticks up about that high and have R slash W, that means right away. That means that road has a right away. That's the border of the right away. I'm not bullshitting you. If you don't believe me, call your local warden or call your state representative or whoever. Don't believe, the, the, don't believe none of the bullshit that they're trying to tell you. It's guidelines, it's recommendations, it is not the law. 